It's a day when the students at Druid Hills Academy, located in West Charlotte, get to start their engines. Thanks to the Art of STEM Festival and the 1080 Racing Challenge, these kids got a chance to get their hands dirty, learning how to engineer robotic race cars from the inside out then put their skills to the test. Boogity, 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 let's go racing. We use racing as theater, but racing is not a sport that the kids know very much about. What they do know about is a radio controlled car, though. When we put something that fun into their hands, we can teach them almost anything. So we've been concentrating on getting them to understand what it can be like to own their own company, not just work for someone. So all of these kids in, in these events that we put together around the country take on the role of owning their own race teams. And they start just like the race teams here in Charlotte. They own a two-car team. They have to do everything that it takes to make that team work. 1080 is a national foundation that made its way to an underserved student body at Druid Hills. It's no secret that the students here have underperformed when compared to other schools in the area. According to Carolina School Hub, Druid Hills test scores ranked number 290 out of 292 elementary schools and number 122 out of 130 middle schools. That's why this event is more than just something cool for the kids to do. It's about opportunity and a chance to change that trend. We're getting kids excited about education. They're excited about academics and they're seeing just how much they can do. Um, they're scholars. We know that if we can get our kids excited about learning, about science, technology, those enrichment activities, like I said, dance programs, we have a dance after school program, then we can close that achievement gap quicker and kids having fun in school, wanting to come to school. Additionally, what we're looking at is closing the opportunity gap. Just through pro programs like this, our kids are going to be able to participate in the student racing challenge. They're getting to interact with students that they normally would not interact with. And they're getting to see that this is important and they can do it. It's about that achievement gap and that opportunity gap. It's so important to close and to close it as quickly as possible. They didn't have anything like this back in the day when I was in elementary school or even middle school. Can you imagine having a chance to put one of these things together? It'd be like a kid in a candy store. Um, we taking the wheels off so it can have better grip so it won't slide. What a sight it was to see the energy in the room, to see their eyes light up to see them engaged. To these students, exposure to something new is important, but just as important is knowing that someone cares about their future. To me, it's, it's really great. It means a lot to me because it shows us that someone actually cares about us and that they want us to do the right thing. And it's just a way to get us out of the classroom into a new learning environment to experience new things. Well, it makes us feel like we, we want to be some, somebody, like we want to be success, successful. We want, they care about us, about our education and our future. Sixth grader Larise Hubbard showed up dressed to impress today and soaked it all in. Today I went outside and it was very fun. We got to see the students play and stuff. We was, we was doing experiments with the cars. We seen how they work, how they get in the near. And we got inside of them how they, um, tie in with science and how they tie in with engineering. So it was quite fun to see how um, science and engineering tie into all this stuff. Most of them have never had the kind of people that we take into the classroom pay attention to them. Um, if you look around at the people in our events that have yellow shirts on, half of them are teachers and half of them are engineers. And they're sitting down working with the kids where the kids are. Got any rock stars in here? Rock stars, everybody here is a rock star. 
Everybody here is a rock star. Every child comes to this school with something to offer. And I say it all the time. It's about finding what motivates them. Don't tell me a child can't learn. They learn things all the time. It's about figuring out how to motivate that child, how to touch that child, to get them to do what they need to do academically so that they can shine in all kinds of areas and become anybody they want to be. It's about making sure that they have the choices so they're not choosing something because they don't have a choice. They have choices now here at Druid Hills. For Carolina Impact, I'm Jack Brayboy.